everybody. Today we're going to be making a magnetic box for your locker or refrigerator. Oh, so I just started measuring the um, this piece of three quarter inch plywood. The front and back side are five inches long and the two left and right sides are three and a half inches um, long. So now I just started cutting them on the chop saw. And now on the um, table saw, I just um, put the blade at a 45 and I started doing each side um, on 45 degree angles so um, it would go together really nice. So and then after that I put the blade to zero degrees and I just um, did the blade about halfway through the plywood to make a dado and um, I had to pass each one through three times so it could um, a piece of eighth inch melamine plywood could fit in it so it was like a little shelf. This is for the base of the um, thing so stuff so stuff wouldn't fall through it. So now I'm just measuring that piece of melamine. And now I'm just gonna cut it on the bandsaw. And after that, um, I just put some painter's tape on the table and then put each uh, piece down and put some wood glue and then put the base in. If you watch my other video of making a little box, I did it the same exact way. And then I just used a strap clamp to clamp it together. And then I used some other bar clamps to just clamp the top part. Then it was a day later, I just came in and unclamped the whole thing and take, took off the tape. And then I went to the table saw and I'm making a 20 degree angle on the front so you can see stuff and grab it. I had to go through a couple times because I didn't know, I didn't, know how deep I wanted it. So. Now I'm just sanding it because the sides are a little bit rough. Now I just took a, I think it's a half inch drill bit and put some of these rare earth magnets, some N52 magnets. And I just did the, um, I think they're a quarter, it might be a quarter inch thick so I just did a little shallow hole so they would sit flush in the wood so then I just used some super glue and I just glued them in so they'd stay uh, stay there permanently and I just hit them in with the mallet then I just put about five ingots in it um, to see how strong it was and then I put some pens on it too. And then I just put it on a locker we had in our shop and it stayed pretty good. It was actually really strong. I was surprised how strong it was. So now I'm just heating the um, a pipe for my logo on the bottom of it. Now I'm just putting the E on my brand. So then after that, so and then I just put some spray lacquer on um, the box just to finish it off uh, with some spray lacquer. It actually um, was a great finish for this. It's really durable and dries really fast and stays shiny too. And I actually put about two, I think two or three coats. I just didn't show it in video because it wasn't that important. I put um, another one on the bottom and then some more on the sides. Um, thanks for watching. I, this is, I had a lot of fun making this video. I think it's a great project for back to school. And if you want to make one, it is a great project and it will work really good. And um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.